So the title says insects, but in actuality, we're going to be talking about arthropods, which they um, are invertebrate animals and they have an exoskeleton, uh, segmented bodies, jointed appendages, um, and they are from the phylum arthropoda. Uh, and they include insects, arachnids, myriapods, and crustaceans. So what is an insect, like the title says, it's a class of invertebrates within the arthropod phylum. Um, they have chitinous exoskeletons, three-part bodies, which is the head, thorax, and abdomen. And they also have three pairs of jointed legs, compound eyes, and one pair of antennae. So for this webinar, we're going to have both insects and then insects that are in the arthropod uh, family. Uh, we have other creepy crawlies and all sorts of things to talk about today. Now they can be used for behavioral lessons. Some make just great classroom pets, but uh, I will be talking about all that. So first up, we have pill bugs and sow bugs. Um, I will ask Leah to please zoom in into onto the plate here. So. Um, Pill bugs are also called terrestrial isopods. They're about 9 16 of an inch long. Um, they can be found under stones and logs and they live in moist soil and they feed on rotting plant matter. And what's really cool about these guys is they also um, can reproduce by parthenogenesis as well, which is when the female produces um, eggs that take three to nine weeks to hatch uh, with about two dozen offspring by themselves. Uh, the young spend three to nine days in the mother's pouch, um, and she may have two to three broods a year. So it's pretty cool. So right now I'm going to be showing you, let's see if I can see on the screen here. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> a little reversed. Okay. <laughs> um, so right here I have pill bugs, which are on this side. I don't know if we can zoom in a little bit perhaps um, or not to see these guys. I'll dump them out on the plate actually. Can we see that? These are the pill bugs. And some uses that you can use them in the classroom for is students uh, can draw and see the differences between the uh, isopods themselves. Um, they all have different colorations and some are like a light blue in color. Some have like really cool markings. <laughs> can you see that? Okay, awesome. Um, you can also compare the differences between pill bugs and sow bugs. If we can go to my next slide then we can uh, also check out the uh, order numbers there. Awesome. Um, so another thing they can do is they can create a compost. You can uh, use them for compost. So if you're using uh, doing a classroom project that involves compost, these guys are perfect for it. They are great decomposers. Um, um, star six to mute. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's some sow bugs. So another thing that you can do with these guys is that you can compare the sow bugs and the pill bugs. So if you can see this, move the dirt out of the way here. So these guys are the sow bugs, the flatter ones, and then the pill bugs are the ones that are rolling up. So they're called roly polies. Um, you can find them outside, but we can send them to you in packs of 45 or 100 for, um, for these, uh, for these kits and for these experiments. Um, one kit that we do sell, if we can go to the next slide, we can put that up. Sure. Melissa, is yes. there a way we can segregate the insects a I'm little bit more? Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can. Uh, Thank you. They are not cooperating with me here. There we go, come in. You see that? Nope. There we go. Um, so one of the kits that we do have is a behavioral kit, which Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. There they are. Go back. <laughs> so we do have a behavioral kit, which um, it's, students can explore tendencies of these uh, pill bugs to see what kind of environment they like. So it comes with a tray and the students set up um, different environments, whether dark or light or moist or dry, um, different substrates. And then the students can uh, form a hypothesis to guess uh, which environment the pill bugs want to go to and um, and then they can see where they go to obviously this guy here wants to go to the edge of the tray so <laughs> but here's our pill bugs maybe this is going to be easier to see here we go so these are pill bugs they can roll up like this 
and then the sow bugs are flatter. And these guys are great and easy to take care of. The, um, a habitat is just um, a terrarium and some soil, uh, leaf litter, and we feed them potatoes and um, make sure it's moist and they are happy in their environment then. So that is that for the pills and sows. Now they uh, come in a 45 pack and a 100 pack and um, we also have decaying wood if you choose to put that in there as well. So it's easier than going out and finding something for them and um, having to uh, make sure it's uh, sterile and everything.